work. Does anybody have any answers? Why has been walking for years? What has? Well, America was built in open borders. Yeah, but they came through legally. We didn't have just, you know. Well, I mean, we had a border. You still had to come through Ellis Island. You know, I mean, we just didn't let anybody that wanted to to walk. Right. No, that, but that's why I'm saying the demonstrations that were all over the country yesterday. But I, I'm still not besides the point. My question is the advocates, a lot of people at this demonstration, were demonstrating for open borders. And I'm just curious how that works. It works decently in Europe. There's open borders in Europe? Yes, there are. Between the countries, you only... There's no... In other words, there's no France separated from Spain. It's separated. separated from separate sovereign nations, but you can pass from one to the other without hullabaloo. Well, you can pass through ours without hullabaloo, too, as long as you if you're going come through customs. Don't you go through customs and... and, and Not you know. in Europe. Well, when fine. you're flying into Europe, it's fine. Yeah. And, of course, we need... Immigration control. That's we do? How does that work? Could you explain how that works? Well, we do have, that's what we're trying to work on, right? I mean, I've talked to border agents out here and government people on a daily basis, and I ask the same questions and I try to get from you. So, can you get explain to me how, now, may I, about you say the child separation, right? Well, if you break a law, can your children go to jail with you? Then, when you break a law coming into this country, and here's another thing, how do we know the children with these people, because a, a lot of them are not related. They're bringing these children in for sex slavery. So how do we know that the people that are bringing in these children are the parents of the children they're bringing in if we don't separate them and ask them, is that your daddy? Is that your mommy? Because a great deal of them are being brought in for sex slavery. A great deal of them are coming over and accompanied. So, you know, how do we... What do you do with them? Um, what do you do? Oh, yeah, you put them in air balloons and wait, float up here until they find out who, who you are? What, what is the process? Explain the process to me. I'm not an immigration lawyer. Well, you obviously got an opinion. And you can't tell me how the world without borders works and you say you got a strong opinion. Don't separate the children. Well, okay, what would you do if you see a guy with MS-13 tattoos all over him and he's got three little girls with him? And you, you, what are you going to do? What are you going to What would be the answer? Come on in. Is that your daddy? Come on in. Is that your daddy? Is that your answer? Or do you separate these children from that tattooed guy and go, what are you doing with these three kids and who are they? Maybe even run a DNA test or a background check on the guy. But so explain to me how this child separation thing works with you. Don't separate the children, okay? But how do, you, how do we know who's what? Tell me the process. There are no simple answers. Uh, apparently you you got some because you're parading out here yesterday. I saw marches over here. People come by, call me a racist, spitting on me, trying to start fights with me, all because they say, oh my God, you're racist because you want a border. And I want to know, okay, without a border, how the hell does it all work? And you ain't giving me no answers. You're not. None of these other protesters are. Not a liberal walk in these streets can give me an answer. How the hell this works? You, you should find a good immigration lawyer in Austin. I've talked him to run them out here. <sighs> that felt good. Yeah. What do you do there? I'm from there. I don't live there. I'm oh, where you are you're in LA now? Yeah. And what are you doing in LA? I'm a writer. A writer? What do you write? I just sold a young adult Southern Gothic. Southern Gothic? Mm -hmm. Is that like novel or? It's a novel. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How wonderful that you can make your living doing that. I can. Yeah. 
<laughs> have you published other things? Um, I haven't. I'm, it's going to be my debut. Is it really? What's your name? Candace Buford. Candace Buford. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, I'm Badass you. Uncle Sam. Yeah. And what is the theme? I mean, the Southern Gothic, you said? Yeah, it's called The Grim Within. It's a scary story, but it's mostly about um, the scary realities that we confront in this country and that still haunt the past. And, uh, well, give me an example. Uh, the Charlottesville Klan rally back Charlotte's like last year. Rally, yeah. yeah, where like white supremacists marched the streets. So was... okay, white supremacists marched the streets. Yeah. You don't think a lot of this is staged? No, I think that there's a huge current of racism in this country. There is? Really? You experienced, when was the last thing you ever experienced that, that was racist? What was the last, when were you ever not served at a restaurant, bar, refused a job, or had to sit in the back, what, 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 when was the last time you had racism against you? Yeah, um, it, it has happened plenty of times. Give me an example, give me an example. Someone calling me a nigger. Who called you that? Someone literally called me that when? at a party. Got really upset. When? When was that? Listen, you don't need to know the details. Well, but, well, I'm just saying, I mean, was that one instance out of how many years? I mean, there no. are people that call me every day on a basis here, uh, racist, they don't even know me. I'm and, uh, you know, they don't know my background, who I'm living with, what I'm, you know, nothing. But they come up I, and call me a racist at no basis whatsoever. I, I didn't so I could, you and, you know, and I'm that. going, and I'm going, well, you know, someone just called me a racist because I, I asked them to explain how a world works without borders. And just because I wanted an answer to that, I was called a racist. Because I want, like, I just want to know how a world without borders Yeah, but don't get, in, don't get in my face the way that people are getting in your face. I didn't call you a racist. And don't... Well, don't I'm just question. asking you for examples of you where you to... say all this mass racism is, but all you give me is one instance at a party that someone called you a racist. I'm saying, that's it? That's the mass racism you're talking about? Where is it? Where is the systemic racism you say exists? Systemic? Wait, what do you, you mean? Sus you said there's, there's a lot of racism. Where is it? You don't see systemic racism? No. I don't see anybody not being refused at a restaurant. I'm racist. I'm a fucking racist. I am? So you're vulgar and you can't give me any examples. <laughs> you're racist. Oh, that was perfect. I love that one. Wasn't that beautiful?